Ooh. Jane, do you mind not peering into the mic? We just started. <laughs> Looks just happy your friends are back. She's being a little bitch right now, so she's not leaving me alone. And plus, it's fucking freezing as cold right now, so I'm shivering. So she's right trying now. to be a personal heater. I am shivering. Burby. Do you remember the the game we both used to play, the the Reaper Tale of the Pale Swordsman? Oof. Apparently not. I found fan art of it. Well, anyway, hello, welcome back stream where we're alive and so f myself especially is a bit dead inside because the clocks went back and I completely forgot. And the fact that I'm it, working on three, uh, the fact that, and the fact that I'm working three weeks in a row right now. Internet crash. And who the fuck is this anime piece of shit looking motherfucker here? Hey, who it's the fan fuck? art. It's fan art of the the Reaper of the Pale Swordsman. Anyway, ah, hi stream. I have a few. Hello stream. Hello. Damn. Just, uh, don't mind me. Just doing shit. Also, this image made my internet crash, so oof. <laughs> the image is so powerful, the internet decides to go die. Yep. Pink, would you mind leaving my mic alone? So, an Aries stream. Hope you had a good Halloween. It's been a while, and hope you all did well. I hope you didn't have a good Halloween. I wish suffering upon all of you. All right, Ethan, then. You were like kid. Calm down, Satan. No. <laughs> yes, welcome back. Um, shit. It's been a hot minute, but we just been busy. Life and shit. You know. You know, some of us are adults who have full responsibilities. And so, you know, can't instantly, you know, be free all the time, so that's just what happens. Yep. Last week as well, the last time we played, not last week, god, my concept of time is fucked right now because of work, but anyway, that's a whole other fucking story. Um, not much really happened, it was just kind of just a little bit of roleplay on the road after we killed the bullets and we're just like... We're alive. We're alive. Uh, oh fuck, we're snakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, we're snakes. That yeah, that yeah, happened. They were, they were stuck as snakes for a good six hours. Oh god, six hours. At least you didn't have to be cramps in the back of a cart, not be even able to stretch your legs. Because when you don't have legs, <laughs> <laughs> and then we found out about okay. our favorite old lady and her connections. Yeah, and Lily, and Lily's uh, growing her collection of bite marks. That that's also a thing. This is a running joke now. I'll and be right back. Kenneth is slowly, Kenneth is slowly collecting uh, uh, scars on his beak. So, don't worry, Elena's not alone. Woo! Except it's just gonna just be really funny. It's just like, what do you, what, you know, what did you get for your scars? Oh, I got, I got cool. What did you get for your scars? Like canopy. What did you get for your scars? This whenever I drink, he, he pours water in his mouth and just comes out a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a very own Wait, personal if, fountain. If... Wait, then how do you drink? I don't. How are you alive? I don't know. Spite. <laughs> Magic, bitch. Spite. <laughs> oh god, I'm actually just so fucking cold. What the, hell, what the fuck the fuck's the temperature? Give me just a second. I'm gonna, like, see, because I am really cold. And I'm usually not one to get cold, because I'm chubby, so therefore I, ha I, I have blubber. Uh, I'm a seal. Well, that's why Pink was there. She was trying to help you. Okay. It's fifty. It's fifty degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels colder because it's like it's a clear night. That makes sense. 
How cold is it here? No, I'm curious. 39. Also, that doesn't help the fact that I know the radiator in my room is broken. It's been ro broken ever since I moved in here for like 14 years. So I've never had a chance to put heat in my room. And I said this before, but my room also is the only room that doesn't have heating. And what I'm, and also the fact that it's the only room that has a vent. So, because I have an inbuilt cupboard in my wall, because my house used to be two flats, or apartments, whatever you want to call it. So, before it got combined into a, um... What is it? Until, until it got combined into a, into a two, you know, two-floor house, a three-bedroom house. My room would Did have been- Could you just pull a hole if you were, or if you're American apartments? <laughs> yes, because you never know, okay. Anyway. Um, so there's- and then my room would have been the original upstairs bedroom of the apartments or flats. And so there's a cupboard, and it can inbuilt cupboard in my wall because, you know, small apartment, extra storage, you know. Um, just as people, you know, whoever, whoever lived here originally, if there's like a one or two people, you know, there's, there's the room that they have to, you know, store some extra stuff. And what happened was is the fact that there is a little, like, kind of vent little thing. To kind of like help airflow um, in that cupboard, otherwise it would get like full of dust. I can't close it, so that is it. I have a constant draft in my room, twenty four seven, which is great in the summer. Horrible in the winter. Who keeps connecting disconnecting? Uh, it's me. My internet is saying fuck you. Oh, it's going to say unfuck you in a second. Also, we're late this time for once because of me, because I forgot the clocks went back for me over here in the UK, but not for everyone else over there in the States yet. So I was like, oh, I'll set my alarm for this time. Wakes up. Fuck, I was meant to put my alarm an hour earlier because that's when. The time is for them, not for me anymore. Until, like, a few days' time, but still, I'm like, damn it. So close. Nearly had it. But hey, this, 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 this one isn't me being lazy, this is once is just, just the time being a bitch. Lois being lazy? That's not a thing. You'll be surprised. I have I either I either do everything or nothing. There's no in between. That's a mood. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. Oh. This is just yeah, I either, either put everything or nothing into something, and it's just it's just a test of how quickly to, will will Oz, will he get deflated doing something before he stops. That's a mood. Anyway, I'm ready. I'm not. Oh wow, I can't believe it. Have Peach, shut the fuck up. No, I understand. Don't worry, Peach. You forget I'm also a DM. Baby pop. Oh, for some reason, the keyboards in OBS are not working a second, so I gotta manually click the transition buttons, not use my little uh, key bindings because I was trying it earlier before it started. I was like, it was the other was just like, no, I'm not gonna work, and I'm like, I don't have time to try and fix you. I don't have time or gummy bears. Oh no, not gummy bears. <laughs> gummy I have gummy bears, but they're uh, CBD. Go now! Now I'm thinking. Of, now I got the gummy bear song in my head, but the one where he fucking steps into the bear trap and just starts screaming. I'm so happy. Ah! Why am I so delicious? I'm still sick. That's all I get. A few of. seconds later, other uh, leg. Uh, why is Pinterest loading so fucking slow? How many tabs do you have open? Shut up. <laughs> I think I found the issue. No. 
it was loading slow earlier when I only had two tabs open. I still think I found the issue. It's just, it's just being a dick. It's Pinterest. It's just the internet. <gasps> My husband was awake. Well, yeah, he's in the call. My yeah. other one. Uh, 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 yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> oh. My other one. How dare you have more than one, Peach? Lois knows what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know no who worries. you're talking about. Shut up. Fuck. Me and Jess just sipping tea on the side. Like, ah, yes, we know. Anyway. Was Vando 462? Uh, yeah, she's. No, no. At least this one breathes. How I have dare you. Jess, I have been. That implies that I'm a necrophiliac. No, I am oh, extreme. Hey. I promise I'm not. Oh, you, you guys have. I'm just a nerd. I'm, I'm just saying. I, you have corrupted me, you two, because I, because you know, I'm on the other side of the world, so my internet's even shitter when it comes to connecting with you guys. But I didn't. I didn't hear this one breathes. I heard this one breathes. So you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? You know what? <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> You can't say anything. Hi guys, in this episode of Hell, Miss Word sauce as fuck. It's okay, this one reads because I don't have a reptile dysfunction. Oh, fuck. Uh, you did it yourself. <laughs> you did it yourself. You did this yourself, Lois. Lois, we're trying very hard to get you a sponsorship by Roman Health Products, so I think you should be grateful for all the jokes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to go fast. My internet is saying no. And it's not because of all my tabs that are open. Fuck you. Because, <laughs> God, now, especially thanks to Peach, because of how many wackest bunkers me she sent me on TikTok, I've now got so many different. I now get so many different variations of it. And yeah, the only times I've seen the breed her ones, I'm just like, Jesus fucking. What do you? What do you? What do you think, wackest bunkers? Breed him. <laughs> you naughty wackest bunkers. I have heard that audio so many times now because of you, Peach. It's so good. It's so fucking funny. It will never not be funny to me. <laughs> I could be on my deathbed and a doctor tell. <laughs> If I'm ever on my deathbed and the only way to make me stay alive is to make me laugh really hard, just show me a wackest bonkus video <laughs> and I'll I'll live. <laughs> I live. Wackest bonkus will never not be funny to me. No, if I ever need to make you laugh, I'll just show you whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. No, no. I wackest bonkus is funnier to me. How dare you? <laughs> I will sit here and cry from laughter. From Wackus Bonkus. I'll watch the same video over and over again. It's not healthy. <laughs> oh, well. If you want to make me laugh, just, just show me the Sims 3 patch notes video. I, I'm, I'm oh gone. my god. <laughs> Sims no longer wish to skinny dip, dip with, with mummies. mummies. Sims can no longer try to a baby. What the crap? <laughs> Bring Different video, but you know, still. Oh, yeah, I know. Same, man. different video, same energy. We're using roll 20. Oh shit, oh, roll shit. 20. Fuck. Let's get spicy, boys. Mm. Where's the milk? I'm not gonna lie, the only 15. thing I open up right now is Lois's stream because I just. Yeah, it's fine, we all have those days where I forgot to open things. Yeah. JT, my mic won't pick up my wolf whistle. Can you do it for me? Sure. What do you need it for? Uh, like Lois says it's gonna get spicy. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs better microphone when you have JT? Who needs a soundboard when I have JT? <laughs> Who yeah. needs a soundboard when your mic just leaks your PC audio? <laughs> Y'all, every time I get on my roll twenty, why That's is there some? Why is there always a picture? You gave me permission. You did. I, I do remember oh. that. You did give me permission. Are you on an electric boogaloo or the other one? 
Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Okay. Electric yeah. Boogaloo. The other one doesn't work for me anymore. I don't know why. Funk. Like JT, I'm sorry. JT, I'm sorry. I have to you delete your it. work of art. I, I have you. to. I have to. I'm sorry. It's in the way. You can make another one later. I will tear your soul apart. Please. I don't have a soul. I lost that a long time ago. You say that all you do is that one SpongeBob reference where I don't have a soul. SpongeBob. <laughs> Soul. I have no soul. I cannot see <laughs> who this is. Oh. We never got rid of Kit's wolves. I know it's this funny to doggos. Me. I was saying, I was saying, that, that, that's just me. I'm, I just follow Kit around everywhere. I wonder Kit's wolves. What? Kit. My name. My username. Uh. My alternative name. Literally everything. Huh. Yeah, but why are, why are there two of you, though? Well, as I did say, they're both of me. You said, well, Lois you is said asexual. Wolves. He asexually re reproduces. Oh, there's yeah, that's true. My mitosis. Okay, but yeah. why isn't there multiples yeah. of me? Well, this is like a megaton. Because because because, uh, because I'm an adult and you're not <laughs> you're, you're, you're not Kit yet. Don't worry. You you you'll get I there. Don't learn how I'm, I'm, I'm getting close. Exactly. Hey, you don't learn how to make happening soon. Until you're... There are so many sounds going on. Oh my god. Sorry. I can play some. Jesus Christ. Please don't. I will take another gummy. I'll take another one. And y'all yeah. will have to deal with me while I'm high. I already did that before. It's not an issue for me. High Peach is entertaining. If You've for seen a good me, 20 minutes. No. You've seen me you've never seen me losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> you there's don't a, need a freaking Costco card. Listen, there's a first yes, time for everything. I might want to see you lose your mind. <laughs> no, you don't. At one, least not in one the next day, year. I'll stream. One day I'll stream while I'm high, and you'll get to see my genius. Only with Lois's permission. No, whenever I get my own place, I will I will stream on my own Twitch. Do that. That works too. JT, are you the one that did COVID nineteen with boobs? That depends. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's gone now, so it doesn't matter. Well, you, I brought Hex Retribution, you know what that means. Honestly, at this point, I don't know who Peach is going to kill first. Probably myself. Uh, you oh, say that, that loud? You say that, but due to Mindy, I don't think that's accurate anymore. Mm. You have, like, a whole All right, let's start. scale to go through. Lowe's back? We should replace COVID-19 with boobs. Yes, JT. Yes. <laughs> Let's start. Lois isn't back yet, so... You guys don't need to... So... You, you guys don't need to be waiting for me. I'm literally just going to well, go pee. Excuse us for care. But we love you. you like, if, if I'm just going to go pee, you can start without me. You don't need to wait. I'm just going to be like... Piss, well. coward. I just did. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to wait for me to start streaming. Because I got everything set up. Hmm. Oh, stop playing. Anyway, let's go. I redeem my hydra, so you'll, you'll have to use the bathroom again. <laughs> Chug. <laughs> I'll keep redeeming them. <laughs> anyway, Alright, so when we started out. off last time, when we started, when we left last time, Jesus Christ. He's not here right now. Y'all had, I swear to God. You know what? I'll let you guys start. Go. Hmm. Well, 
Oh, we last we left off, we got Sorry. 40 billion gold pieces. Bowie had gotten a plus four. JT. Uh, no. I got <laughs> some praise. <laughs> anyway, um, for, actually take this seriously for once. Um, okay, yeah. When we when we last left off, um, I actually forgot what the other three were doing, but I do remember that Bowie and Alina went off to go hunting. Yeah. So do we want to start with that or start with the other three? Hang on. I'd say start with that. Alright, yeah. Stop I'm moving ready. shit. I love you guys, but sometimes <laughs> you make me want to commit murder. You should yeah. move us to a different map. I mean, I'm in the, the mood to commit murder. Do you want to go? Like, come on. Want to go on a spree? Just, just saying. Oh, yeah, I can't probably be bothered get... to make a circle. Oh, my. Should probably get rid of that status effect. Hold on. There you go. I'll let you guys have the floor since y'all right. want to talk. Herb, you wanna? Hmm. Yep. Sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure these two were already just vibing out in the well. <laughs> I just see Bowie's token just slowly disappearing off into the void. Um, <laughs> you know where where she belongs. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything the last thing that was said between us because it was like two weeks ago now. But I think we just finished like some conversation. I remember yeah, it was. Though. It was about um Bowie's hunting tradition and oh, how yeah. she warned Alina about it. Yeah, that was and, it. Yep. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, do do whatever you have to. I'm not going to disrespect your uh, traditions, but I'm not going to join in." Pretty much. Yep. Because Alina's got some level of dignity, and I think that would be the worst thing for her to do. Not the worst, but you know. Anyway. But I guess, you know, as they're just out, she's just gonna just. I just turn to Boone, just kinda just shrug and just go. You know, I'm surprised that you get along with me so well sometimes. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's because you remind me of one of my sisters. They're surprisingly a bit older than me because I'm the second youngest. I, I guess that's a compliment, I guess, compared to one of your sisters. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Because she took after my grandfather from was it my mother or father yeah it was definitely mother's side because yeah how could i forget how could i forget him they were a wild one was he not exactly um let's just say he's very well known for his um for his last battle before he decided to you know Start a family. I see. Because, because that that battle is actually what um, gave the Nobel their, you know, legendary status, I guess, is how you can put it. But I think I'll talk more about it with the rest, because it does make for a good campfire story. Well, hey, whenever the, everyone's available, just, I'll cook. You can tell a story. All right. But make sure you're in Dubai, because I want you to hear it as well. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Because he was, an, he was also an archer as well. She raises eyebrows and just goes, I feel like it's not the same kind I am for some reason. There's just some strange feeling with how you talk about your family that there's something different. 
Do you charge head first and snap snap upon its neck with the bow? No. Hmm. Do you replace someone else's spine with their bow? What? No. Huh. No. I don't think I... I mean, I don't recall doing that. Hmm. Then yeah. I guess he is a bit more wild than you. <laughs> but then again, those are just stories. It's not like it's the actual thing. At least, I think. I hope so. <laughs> stories stem from something, so... Yep. Anyways, can, can you, um, you know, do a bit of a sniffer snoofer or something? <laughs> I'm sorry. She just rolls her eyes and just kind of just pinches the bridge of her nose and goes, <sighs> I can track, not in that way. Hmm. Yeah, then you can track. I'm not as good as my sisters or my brothers or the rest of my family. <laughs> yeah. She kind of just Kind of like just pushes Bowie's head just gently, just like, hey, give yourself some credit. Hmm. Well, I wish I could, but. Bowie? Yeah. Give yourself some credit. You first. <laughs> we'll, we'll be stuck in limbo for one very, very long time then. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yes. Well, before, uh,. Well, Brooke starts gnawing on Kenneth's legs because she gets that hungry. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised you're cautious about Brooke doing that and not me. No, no, no. You're, you're my first, but you're you're out with me, so. <laughs> okay. Brooke's so... a second. Oof. So do we? Do the rolls or heck? If y'all are gonna start uh, looking for specific game, go ahead and roll perception. You both have dark vision. Yeah, I do. Me, me and Bowie. Okay. Yeah. Me, and, it's funny. Me and Bowie have like the naturally born dark vision. Like we get it naturally from our races. Everyone else, everyone else, everyone else has the Walmart dark vision. <laughs> I think everyone has dark vision except for Brooke, right? Or does Brooke have it? Uh, if I prepare the spell, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I originally got it for the party members who didn't have dark vision, and then look where we're at right now. <laughs> and then they got it. <laughs> but... You try your best and don't succeed. <laughs> hey. Hey, we're out here. Hey. All right. Uh, what game are you looking for? Anything that's big enough to feed five people, pretty much. So that's probably like hairs, small. You know, I would say Sorry. small, small like you know boars. You know, like not not like the big giant fuck off hogs. You know the ones I talk about, like the smaller ones. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Sneeze, oh god. No, I'm not. I'm good. Yeah, I was two of you are the two of you decide to finally start hunting. Um and you quiet down and the two of you kind of lower yourself. Where where's your token? Um, I accidentally sent it <laughs> off in the void and I can't retrieve it again. Uh she's not anywhere. Yeah. I know. <laughs> when I'm when I'm being by the void, I mean in the void, void off the map, void. There you go. Sorry. How did you manage that? I don't know. <laughs> there. Yay. Um. Once to do does uh Bowie get down on all fours or what is she? How is her hunting style? She get she get down. She gets down on all fours, but she keeps a blade. She keeps like her capesh on her back, and she keeps one hand holding it. 
Okay, so I thought. Um, as a, the two of you do stop talking and you quiet down and you actively start looking for something to hunt. Elena, you're like you crouch down a little bit with your bow in hand, I assume. Yep. And then <sighs> Bowie uh goes down onto all fours, uh, her capesh in one hand. It does not take either of you long to find what you are looking for. Um, both of you have excellent vision and are experienced uh hunters. Uh find like a little um small herd of boars. They're not very they're not very big at all. They're probably the descendants of hogs that escaped a village. Um they're not typical wild boars that are huge. The huge big fuck off things that you don't want to deal with on on a, on a night. Or the no. day. Or just anywhere. Yeah. Or just anywhere. <laughs> hogs are scary. Um yeah. I'll just look to uh, Bowie and just kind of just with my hand just kind of signal that, you know, of course, that's, you know, what else I'm going to find, so we should go for that. Um, and I'm going to just kind of move, like, a little bit away just to give Bowie space, because I know she wants to go first and, you know, chase it down. I just, but I'm going to get myself in a position so the fact that if Bowie misses, I can still, you know, attempt to take a shot after Bowie. Without, you know. Mm -hmm. I just give like a little nod to Bowie, just, you know, whenever you're ready, I'm ready, so. Okay. Bowie's, gonna, Bowie's gonna nod silently and she's gonna try to get as close as possible to one of the boys. At least one. Of, still for me. At least the one that looks like, you know, sick and weak or something. Mm hmm. Go ahead and roll still for me. Shit. Ah. When you try your best. <laughs> but you don't succeed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Um. You get the... You do see the motion that Alina is trying to, like allow you to go first and you're so zoned in on trying to get the boars or at least separate them um so that you're able to get a weaker target you're not paying fully attention to your surroundings and you step on a stick and it makes a very loud crack as you break it and at first nothing happens Until the sound of the stick breaking reaches the ears of the boars, all of their heads immediately snap up, look to in your directions, and they start to bolt. Well, shit. The game's on, then. Bowie's gonna bolt as well with feline agility, because fuck you, speed. Mm -hmm. There was a cat next to me. Now there's not. There was one. <laughs> where go? Where, 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 where go? Suddenly, dust. Go on, Bowie, see if you can get it first, other before I have to chase after. Yep. She's actually going to make an attack with her Kapesh. Should okay, I roll? Go ahead and roll the hit for me. All right. That's a 24 to hit, damn. Okay, that does hit. Uh, you want to ex explain how you attack it? Ba basically, Bowie immediately goes on all four, putting the Kapesh handle in her mouth before getting close enough to where she can basically try to hook the neck and bring it down. Because, okay. yeah, oof. All right. Uh, Alina, you're going to see uh, the moment the boars take off running, Bowie immediately chases after. 
um, easily catches up with the boar that's running a little bit farther behind the rest of the 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 group. Um, very quickly reaching in uh, to her mouth to grab the kapesh, um, kind of hooks it into the tusk and brings the the head of it down really quickly. Um, the boar, because of this, trips over this and um, rolls a bit before getting back up and facing you again, Bowie. Um, quite injured. Um, you injured it quite a bit. However, it is still standing. Hmm. Still standing, you say? Mm-hmm. Well, can I make another attack on it? This time with a ranged weapon, because, yeah, it's kind of a bits away. Wait, how damaged does it look? Quite, quite injured. Quite injured. Okay, so can I make yeah. an attack? I'm trying to decide if I should do... Nah, it's, yeah, go ahead. Okay. At the same time, uh, pause just a second. Well, yeah, yeah. do your roll, but I'll come back to you. Alina, okay. uh, what are you going to do when you see the boar's uh, bolt? Um... <clears throat> Gonna kind of like you know, keep up with Bowie, but see, seeing how that she seems to be already you know, doing her thing like pretty within like within six seconds, she's just like oh oh she's already got wow okay, but I'll you know I'll still like keep up my pace just a bit behind just the fact that if you know need be I can be there to assist, uh, Bowie, but still staying like a little bit away so you know I can use my bow effectively. Okay, so you're just gonna do like. You're just gonna come up for aid. You're not gonna go after any of the others. No, we only need the one to feed the five of us. Okay, Bird, go ahead and do your other attack roll. A hey, maximum damage with a dart. E seventeen. <laughs> uh, how do you want to kill it? Basically, as soon as soon as um the boar manages to recover, Bowie's still on the ground from you know tumbling over as well with the boy and she just immediately pulls a dart from her waist and then nails it in the head. Bonk. Bonk. All right. Again, Alina, the boar's bolt upon hearing Bowie. Bowie is Im- immediately able to chase one down and roll it. Um, you can tell that it probably hurt its neck or something in its body quite badly um as it immediately doesn't seem like it's doing too well um but it's still standing uh to try and fight it is going to try and charge at buoy but buoy uh before the thing ever gets close to her um reaches into her pouch pulling out a dart and shooting it right between the eyes straight into its skull and it collapses to the ground and skids a bit in the dirt Oh, I'm gonna just run over, make sure you know nothing's been like, ooh, hey, you know, sunny, and then you know, like, ooh, hey, they just hunted that for me, aka mine. Looking at you, hyenas. Um, and I'm gonna help Bowie up first and be like, she's just gonna just like just give it like a nod, of just like, wow, that was, that was something. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, could have gone better though. I shouldn't have, you know, tripped up that much, but... It, it's still. fine. We, still, we got it. No one got hurt, apart from the ball. Yeah. And Boogie's actually going to kneel down again, kneel down towards the ball, remove the dart, and it actually looks like she's starting to pray for a little bit before, you know, turning to Alina and just say, we got we to gotta field strip this here. And not bring it back to you know the campsite. Yeah, make sh- yeah, make sure oh. to just leave, leave all the stuff that we don't need here, and then I, I'll, I'll carry it back. Go ahead and roll perception for me. <laughs> Both of us. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> all those bad That's rolls from all those. 20. All those bad rolls from all of those fucking combat encounters are finally paying off. 
<laughs> That's the second 20 of the night. Ice rolling out 20 for the board to hear you. Oof. Okay. Um, as the two of you finish up your conversation and you do start to field dress it there, um, both of you are pretty keenly aware uh, that you are being watched. Um, looking around, uh, I would suspect that Bowie would be the one dressing and Alina would be watching the area. Yeah. I'm, Am I right in that assumption? I, I would imagine so. Hmm. Okay. Um, both of you are pretty pretty aware um, that you are being watched. Um, Bowie, just because you are a trained hunter, you're trained to know when you're being watched by something after you made a kill. Alina, you are you are able to see it before Bowie does because Bowie is concentrating on the the boar. Um, I have a picture for you. You see it uh, come towards the two of you from the bushes. Um, I'll put it in creature encounter. Mm. Hey, Burb. It's fun. Fun. What? What? Who? What? What character's gonna bring in you? Hey, what? What new character's gonna play now? <laughs> Oh. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, oh my God. Okay, do you have another cat? Oh my God, it's. <laughs> uh, as you are, you see, you hear it moving around in the bushes, Alina. Before you see it, um, at first you do draw your bow, getting ready to uh, to fight off anything, but as it comes out through the bushes, you realize that it is just. A dog. I'm gonna just crouch down. Oh, not gonna crouch down. I'll put my, you know, not put my bow away, but kind of like, you know, stow the arrow. Although I've got magical bow that doesn't exist, but anyway, um, I'm gonna just, you know, put the bow on my side, you no, know, not threatening, and just, you know, very classic child, like go, a dog. Oh, and I'm just gonna crouch down and be like, hey, hey there. Is Lois a robot for anybody else, or is it just? For it me? it might just be the fact that my internet's having a little little bit of a little bit of a hiccup. No, Peach, it's just you. Lois is perfectly fine for me. Oof. Oh, um, Peach, I tell you this: I've been a wolf watch this whole time. <laughs> oh shit! But Oof. no, just you know, just okay. Crouch down. And you know, but hand out just so you can smell before, because especially you know yourself being a canine, so it's like, hey, canine brethren. Um, is it a dog or is it a druid? Find out next time on Dragon. Anyway, um, <laughs> the dog, <laughs> pretty it, you can tell pretty much immediately that this is not a wild animal, as it does have jewelry hanging on it. It's very obviously belongs to somebody as it seems well fed it's not skinny in any way it's very well groomed just a little bit roughed up from being out in the woods um presumably by itself um but it comes up to you quite happily it's tail wagging um and pushes its face into your hand after smelling you and then just starts loving up on you happy to oh. be around somebody oh Oh, my heart, my beating heart bleeds. I love dogs, both in real life and in here. So, I'm just like, mm. I'm just gonna just be scratching it and then go, Hey, Bowie. Sus. I mean, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I feel like we're good to go. There was a village I didn't see too far up ahead. We'll probably get there by tomorrow morning. Like, maybe, like, I want to say, um, 10, 11, give or take on how fast our pace is. I wouldn't be surprised if this dog came from here. 10, 10 11, as in 10, 11, or 10 22 to, to 24? 10 to 11, like 10, 11, as in like 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay. Mm. But. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. Bowie's actually going to cast um, Detect Magic if... Wait, does she have the... Yeah, she does have Detect Magic. She's gonna cast Detect Magic on the dog. 
because what does it do? For, does for it detect the anything? For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint or around any visible creature or object that bears that bears magic, and learn its school of magic, if any. So basically, I can tell if it's an illusion or not. I think, or if it's some kind of transformation. I think, because trans transmutation and stuff. Just a regular dog. It's just a normal dog? Okay. Just a normal dog. <sighs> Not everything I show you guys has to be something. <laughs> Look. I know okay. you have PTSD, but come on. <laughs> Look, okay, I play I play Demon Souls. Do you not know how many fucking mimics there are in there? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> um I I gave you a talking mimic one time, bird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is an un know, just a dog. This is also an unknown land with rubies and jewels are actually fucking spiders. So, yeah, um, but no, I'm just gonna look over and just go. Well, let's just gut the thing and leave like all the, you know, intestines and the stuff we don't want here, so that we don't, you know, we don't get followed back. And then the, bo the boar or the dog. <laughs> the boar, not the dog. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Sorry, a bit, of, uh, a bit of dark humor to line up the mood every once in a while. Uh, she's just gonna. Just, I, I said Jesus Christ. That, that, that was me. Anna kind of saying Jesus Christ when it comes to the whole <laughs> skinning the skinning the dog thing. Just like, oh god. Now Leah's just gonna just face on. Just like, no, no, no. We're not skinning the dog. I'll we'll take it back and see if anyone at the village in the morning probably knows. Who or where this belongs to? Oh, all right. We we could we could probably also sell the um, boar tusk bones and you know the skin as well as the let's, let's, bear thing. Well, yeah, the bear. Yes, the, the boar. Let's just trouble. Like I imagine, we don't like bring back the tusks. I'm, I bring back at least the tusks. I'm sure your father's probably like that. She likes to collect teeth. From what I remember, I remember her that little conversation we had when we uh. We first met her. Actually, I don't know if you were there. I think you. I think you were having a bath at the time, Bowie. But the rest of us. You would have. Uh, Bowie would have seen her book by now. Fair enough. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen it with, you know, Darius trading stuff with him. Oh yeah. So yeah, just bring back at least one of the tusks. I'm sure she would probably appreciate that. Well, upon Alina saying that, she's actually going to drag the gutted boar. Is it? Is there like a rock nearby, like a large enough rock nearby or something? Yeah. Okay. Boo's just going to drag the boar by its tusk, slam, slam the fucking boar head onto the rock in hopes of chipping the tusk off. World strength for me. Strength? Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, yeah. it's not a very, okay. it's not a very large uh, boar. You can tell that this is this the breed that this is. Um, it's probably uh, um, an escaped. It's probably like a second or third generation uh, hog from a the village that's nearby. It's it's not very large, but it's good. It's large enough to feed the five of you, but still on the smaller side. Yeah. Dirty 20. Yeah, I'll say you're able to do what you're wanting to do. Okay, so we got one tusk. I'll I'll save the others. I'll save the others for when we actually butcher it. Yeah. Don't forget to take out all the guts and shit like that by here. So that way, if we do it, do it right there, you know. Any scavenger yep. will at least, you know, come here, not there. Yep. I'll carry I'll it back. On the... Dog is just watching intently. Good. He's a good boy. He just sits down and just like his. He has like giant ears. Um, it's actually not a breed that you've seen before, Alina. Um, Burb. It's actually something that Bowie probably might have seen. Um, you can tell it's probably a crossbreed between some kind of regular dog and a hyena of some sort. 
It's not a regular dog. Hmm. Strange. But this entire continent is strange, so I don't really. Uh... Anyways, time to get time to get the ball. <laughs> yeet. Um. Intestines go yeet. Okay, I and while in, that is. <laughs> While that's happening, uh, what is everyone doing back at the camp? And if you fuckers say nothing, I'm going to gut you like the boar. Um, sweet Caroline. I technically am not doing anything, so I'm just like, I mean, I'm not technically not doing nothing. So it was you were the first one to talk, my finger was already. It was already there on the button. I was just waiting for someone to talk. <laughs> um, I just knew it would be you because I saw you on me first. <laughs> he just called anyway, you out. <laughs> what are you doing? Just, I was like, I knew you were going to do it as well. That's the worst part. Bam, bam, boop. Um. Okay, Beck, I'm sorry, I'm having to compose myself because the timing on that. <laughs> what is Darius doing? I think I will venture out into the woods, not too far, but I'm going to set, a, set and bait my bear trap. Okay. Are you going to like try to hide it in any way or just like leave it out in the open? Well, I'm going to try and hide it. Okay. Maybe I'll stick near it so in case two very heavy humans come by and say, hey. All right. Well, I'm going to I am going to wait it so that obviously the small animal can like not hit. I don't know how bear traps work. But I know you can wait them. A small yeah, I understand. Trigger, like a medium animal like that. Yeah, yeah. I would say dog, you but... don't know what you're talking about, but Darius would know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> He sort of did this for a while. I would say it's not hard for you to do. Well, clinkies. I did it. I think I'll set my padded jaws just in case. I still yeah, have yeah. time to do that. I didn't realize you were the trapper. <laughs> well, I didn't realize padded jaws were a thing until I played it by daylight. So, yeah, I am the trapper. <laughs> I'm wearing a makeshift wrap, so if I step on it, I'm fine. Nice. Also, I brought the honing stone, too. So. Oh. Did I give you a, um, a step block for that thing? Which one? The padded shot? The, the honing stone. Oh, we're continuing the bit? Oh, I'll continue that. Oh, uh, yeah, it should be on my sheet. I'll put it on my handy haversack. Oh, sorry, yeah. the trapper bag? Man, I'm really not on it today. Am I? If I give you a, um, could you, like, drop that in my, uh, my DMs? Because I don't remember what it does. Yeah, just give me a second. I think it's pinned near the bloody coil. Near what? The bloody coil. We're in too deep. I'm pulling out. Someone else go. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> What's Kenneth doing? Why is it always a struggle to get you three? Specifically you three. I just went. How dare you? I understand why for you, JT. I understand gonna, for you. Put but the other two, they talk too much. I haven't talked a lot this time, actually. I've just been here. I no, no, no. I mean, in general. I mean, in general. I understand why JT is so tired for JT. He's not very talkative. The two of you, however. Sorry. I. You're fine. <laughs> Which one of you want to go first? Kit, one, or, one through six. 28. Three. Five. Jessica, you go first. 
So Kenneth is kind of just sitting off on the side, just looking at his journal, being like, okay, if Zahor is cool with the whole him starting to, like, give him stuff, he's trying to think what would theoretically work, and so he's just writing a list in his journal, while also trying to figure out, okay, Alina clearly knew something about this old woman, but isn't telling him, so he's trying to, like, sort of figure out anything he could come up with. Like, from your journal? Well, no. Well, okay. He's just using his journal as, like, a notebook to, like, put down, like, ideas or, like, crossing out stuff. Mm-hmm. So he's not really using the journal like he normally does, like, looking through. He's just writing down ideas, and then he's he's mumbling to himself, being like, okay, that doesn't work, that might work. He's just being Kenneth. Okay. What is Kenneth doing? I am... Presently. No, I'm just hanging with Penelope as per usual. Like making sure she's alright. Like how is she how is she vibing? She's vibing pretty good. She's just she's uh like what's the word? Pacing. Um you know, cause she's a crag caster typically like dusk and dawn hunters um so she's just on the prowl around the area just watching hmm. Hmm. Not case, I guess... perception for me oh okay yep. do you have night vision dark vision no <laughs> Then do disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy it is. It makes me to be able to say that to one of you. Screw you. Wait, how is it? I messed, I fucked it up. It's been a while since I've done this shit. You have to do space between the one and the two. Yeah. That was on one for for good. What? <sighs> oh, oof. Uh, oh, as you are watching, uh, Penelope, you. You're not really paying attention to anything else besides her, but you're all you are also trying to wait. Yeah, I hit to roll again. I'm stupid. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This, this, this disappoints me. Yeah, 13 is the lowest. Okay, 13 is still the lowest. Um, you notice that to the right of you, but a little bit behind you, to the right and behind you, you can see you far us out of the corner of your eye, trying her best to sneak up on you, but she's not very stealthy. I rolled a five. Um, uh-huh. But she, in her in her mind, she's being really quiet. And she's trying her absolute best to sneak up on you. Okay, I'm going to pretend I don't notice her. <laughs> get a mind she's going to progressively, progressively try and get closer and closer to you. She's trying to scare you. I talked to Penelope. It's like, I sure hope there's not any dangerous monsters out here. It's dark and I can't see that well. (sighs) You hear light, very, like, light giggling behind you. Like, (laughs) snickering. And, I mean, if one were to come get us, I mean, you would protect me, right, Penelope? Right? I look up to Penelope for approval. She just, you know how when dogs do the side eye look and it has like the, a lot of the the eyes like the white? Yeah. 
she looks at you like that and just like gives a huff before like laying down. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like <sighs> I give her a nice little I give her a little pats. Like thank you. <laughs> at this point, uh Ufaris is able to like calm herself down. And she comes up behind you and like goes to like touch your back to scare you. I spin around immediately. <laughs> like, ha! She immediately, like, immediately screams and like surprise and falls down. I'll have on the turntables. <laughs> she like at first she like looks like super super scared because you scared the hell out of her and she's like breathing real hard and heavy but then she starts like laughing <laughs> Brooke's also laughing <laughs> Penelope just like opened her eyes to look at the two of you Hello, Peach, are you there? Did you not hear me? I heard you say she opens her eyes to look at us. Is that was that it? No. <laughs> Penelope like opened her eyes to look at the two of you before giving another huff and closing her eyes again. Thank you for your impeccable acting skills, Penelope. <laughs> <sighs> God. Penelope is the same thing as having like a small like having your signs all around your property that says do not enter guard dog on duty and then you just have a fucking small ass chihuahua with the name of like Zeus <laughs> or Hades or some shit <laughs> you'd be talking and tell like oh yeah I had a cat named Penelope oh she must be so small and lovely oh god she's huge yep that's literally the same thing Pretty much. How did you know? How did you know? It's called being perceptive. Dang it. Uh, Alina is actually the most perceptive one here. I'm not really surprised. She gets up off the ground, like dusts herself off. Sorry, here so, just to scare me. Or... Okay. We talked to each other, no. Um, I'm just was well, I was walking here with Penelope. Penelope is seems to be a casualty of war now. <laughs> She's just laying down. <laughs> I I point to her laying down. <laughs> Caught in the crossfires of our battle. <laughs> oh no, however will she live? Oh no. Whatever will I do? Will I have to get a new cat? Is that how you're talking to her? Yes. <laughs> she just a fit of giggles. <laughs> you're not wrong, Lois. <laughs> that reminds me, JT. I still, I still plan on making a human D and D character. Based off of Medea. I'll do it one day. Oh my gosh. It will be a thing. <sighs> Anywho, uh, Penelope here likes to... You said it was what now? Uh, dawn to dusk? Or dust to dawn? That Penelope uh, da, da, Dusk to dawn. Okay. Dusk to dawn. Penelope prefers uh, to hunt at night, so she was just pacing around, probably looking for something. And then she gave up. She's gotten a tad bit used to being pampered, I can see. She just gives another huff, which makes uh, Euphorus giggle again. Yeah. If you notice, Penelope's fur is actually like, fairly well brushed and does look fairly pristine, actually. And like, the pink bow is still like a bright pink. She's 
Oh, Demand God. Demand to wash it. <laughs> I like, forgot she had a bright pink ass bow. <laughs> like, there's a few tears on it, imagine, but, like, the color is still bright There's There's a few blood stains. Yeah, there's a few blood stains and tears, but, like, for the most part, as pristine as you can get considering battle and shit. Yeah. But, Actually... Yeah. You know that she tried to get one of our goats when you guys were at our house? Seems like something she would do. Yeah. Yeah, but uh the goat that we have um didn't didn't let her. <laughs> I don't think she liked him very much. I imagine the goat didn't like her either. <laughs> no, it's a special type of breed. Um they're not, they don't really care about anything. They're like cows, but we don't butcher them. Interest. That's pretty interesting, actually. So, like, domesticated? Yeah, they have, like, six legs, though. Brooke's just, like, in her mind, like, counting, like, they did have six legs. What the fuck? They're they're used for the mountains because they have really thick fur. Um, uh, he will actually have to shave him in a bit so he doesn't get too hot. But they're used in the the mountains so that um the people there don't get cold because they actually have really thick fur. Um, and it grows back really quickly. And their horns, um, if they if one of their horns breaks, it doesn't grow back. So we always have to make sure their horns are okay. Otherwise, they're pretty defenseless. Oh. That's actually interesting. Mm -hmm. Every counter to... You don't want to get you don't want to get kicked by one. It's it's basically the same as being kicked by the the horse that you guys have. Yeah, not a fun idea. Not a fun idea. So, I'm assuming no. you're talking from experience here, you forest. No. Uh, no. Um, there was a... One of the... Uh, what is it called? I don't remember the name for the creature off the top of my head. I, I'll know I'll, I'll remember it later. I have teeth for one in my book, but... Um, they they are they live in the floating mountain uh the floating islands and they swoop down to get prey and one of them tried to get one of our goats and our oh. larger one was nearby and was able to kick it um as it tried to grab one of our goats and it didn't kill it on impact but it it hurt it really bad and it hit the ground and then it stomped it to death so that sounds fun. Ugh. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to get under it. Sounds like uh, an extra security measure, if anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember the name. She snaps her fingers. Um, it's called a mesmer. It's because it looks like there's eyes on its wings to like disorient its prey and other predators. So it's called a mesmer. Guess you could say that it's a uh, pretty mesmerizing. Eh? Eh? I make that joke all the time. No one likes that joke. <sighs> no one likes my jokes either. Don't worry. I I I like the joke. Oh okay. I say I say it all the time. Yeah. I mean, like I crack a few dry jokes here and there, and I don't even like them to be honest. I I just say them because I'm like, you know what? The opportunity presented itself. But no, it is a very good joke. I don't see why people don't like it. You want to? Do you want to hear a new joke? Maybe. It's really bad. I think it's funny. Oh? Uh, as she's talking about it, her, like, she gets a grin on her face, and she's like, okay, okay, okay. What type of tree doesn't need to be watered, ever? I don't know. A family tree. <laughs> and she's doing, like, the, the doge uh, dog, where it's, like, it has like the the mouth open, and she's just like waiting for you to laugh. Uh, I mean... I I told you it's a bad joke. 
Well, I think my family tree has plenty of water on it. <laughs> you don't count. <laughs> so, question. If I throw water on you, do you absorb it? Does it go into you? Are you made of water? Like, how um, does that Okay, okay, work? okay, okay. I, like, kind of pull up my sleeve a little bit. F feel my skin. That's weird. Just do it. Trust me. It makes more sense when you when you do it. She's and... gonna poke your 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 wrist. Okay. When she does so, she realizes Brooks kind of cold, but in the uh, something was wet, cold way. Like Brooks slightly damp. So are you made of water? No, I just like. Wait, am I? I mean, technically, I everyone's made of water, like, mostly, but, like, I'm probably Wait, made hold on. more water. You're, if you're always kind of wet because you're a water genasi, when you're a baby, are you a tadpole? No. I had legs, and I, I still have legs. Well, tadpoles get legs. Yeah, but I was born with legs. And I wasn't born from an egg. I was, my mother, she, my, my father and her, listen, I know you're trying, I know she you know what I'm running. trying to say, but it is incredibly She's just awkward to at you. She's just standing there grinning, like, she, it's obvious, like, she knows that you were not a tadpole. She's just <laughs> messing with you. And she's oh, just you grinning. <laughs> What me? No, I would never. I, I am not awful. Mm -hmm. Keep telling yourself. Obviously, that. there's a mirror here. <laughs> hey, I have a question. Yeah. Hey, uh, she does the the finger poke. Can I braid your hair? Uh, sure. And the kind of bro kind of feels her hair. I haven't cut in a while, so it should be long enough to get a decent braid. How long is your hair? Uh, Brooke's hair at the start of campaign was like just below her chin, but I'd say it's like her hair grows a bit slow, so like a little past her shoulders now. Okay. So, like, when I sprayed your hair, you can't move. Are you tender-headed? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I pluck flowers out of it all the time. I've gotten used to it. Okay, well, that's good, then. Just should be fine. Okay. What? I didn't do anything but you're about to. No. Yes. Maybe. Definitely. Perhaps. Go on. Well, I can't do anything unless you sit down. Brooke just like... You know when you like sit down crisscross and you kind of collapse yourself into it? Am I the one who does that? Say that again. Like, you know when you collapse yourself into, like, a crisscross position instead of, like, sit down, like, normally, like, slowly? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Brooke does that, like, speed. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Ifar, she's just gonna, like, roll her eyes. But, giggle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nope. Oh, okay, fuck. Y'all. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna do a little time skip. Um, the two of you, as she's like braiding your hair, the two of you are just like talking and messing around. Um 
after a bit, uh, Alina and Bowie return to the uh, camping site with a dog. And Alina oh has gosh. like a, a butchered boar like hung over her shoulders. Yeah, she, she brought rope with her, so I imagine she's just like tied up like the the legs so that she could just kind of like hoist mm-hmm. it over. And she, she's pretty much carrying it like a backpack. Um, yeah. As the two of you return, you see Penelope is like laying down on the ground um, behind Euphorus. Euphorus kind of laying up against her as she's braiding Brooke's hair, who is sitting in front of her. Um, the two of them are laughing about whatever they're talking about. Kenneth is mumbling to himself while writing in his journal. Um, Darius is not in your line of sight. That's fine. You know, it's, if, if it was the other two, it'd be a concern, but it's Darius, so no concern from her. Um, I'm just gonna go to Boo and just go, well, go go get yourself some rest, Boo. You're the one who got this. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out. Hmm. You sure? Yes, you cook all the time. Go. Go. She kind of, like, gently, like, playfully kind of just, like, like no, just Brooke, not Brooke, Bowie. I was looking at fucking <laughs> Brooke's name. Um, just go sit down, go rest, go do something else. Don't sit here and cook. I'll do it. Oh, wait. Yeah? Since you're not gonna be cooking, come see what I did to Brooke's hair. Please. Uh, sure. Also, got got a little something for you. Oh? Boo is actually going to put the um, board, board down so that Alina can do whatever, and then she's just she's just gonna underhand toss um, you far as a um, the boar tusk. Uh, she's going to immediately take her hand off of Brooke's hair and very quickly catch it and just go ooh. <laughs> and mind telling me what it is? We know it's a boar, but yeah, there's many different kinds. Might as well. Also, what's with the hairdo? Here, I have a picture. A picture? What? For the, the haircut. It's in spectators chat. Nice. Once it loads. Rutgers kind of goes, I don't know, man. Oh, that. Hmm. It's not I... bad, but you can tell she's not had a lot of practice before. So and it's like it's a, a little bit, bit messy, but it's not. Brooke's hair is currently uneven in length. <laughs> I think my yeah. grandpa used to have that. Braids? Yeah. Oh. Does Brooke have a milpar right Darius... now? I don't know. I'll let you decide that. I think Brooke has a milpar right now. Brooke's just like, what the fuck? I'm not used to this. <laughs> do, you, do, you guys, do you guys think Darius would let me braid his hair? No. Not if at all. If you asked him really nicely, I mean, maybe. I actually think he would say yes. I'd say it depend on, depends on his mood. Sometimes he's down with our shenanigans, he, and sometimes he is He not. seems like he's in a good mood. The last time I saw him. Well, he just shrugs. I don't know. Also, you far as... Just to look at that for my reasons. Do you not know how to braid properly? It's fine. Is it, though? It's not that bad. It's, it's good. It's it not, feels pretty secure. It's not bad, but I could give you some pointers. Are you I trying to say I didn't do good? No, I'm just saying I could give you ways to Elena, improve. Elena, how could you? Brooke, shut up. She's obviously joking with nah. you. Like, she has her hands on her hips, and she's just, like, looking at you, but you can tell, like, her, she's like just she's being playful. I'm at least it's like just gonna just like kind of cross and just go. What? What are you gonna do about it? I won't eat your food. And then you'll starve, and then you'll regret it, and then you'll be hungry. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yep. Nope. I could. I'm going to live. Actually, no. 
You're gonna live longer than me. Um, I, I mean, I could do this at least 200 years, so, uh, keep trying. I can do it for five. Oh, good for you. What do you want, a gold medal? Yes. Well, I don't have one, so you have to, you have to, you have to do with the fact that I'm cooking for you. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. Those, the, them, those are the rules. I guess I'll deal with it. Oh, hush, child. I'm so abused here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, you're so abused. Totally, as we feed you and shelter you and look after you. Such Dude, abuse. Mindy, do Mindy does that to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> if I refuse to hold her hand, she'll just look at me and start pouting, like, fakely, and just go, and she'll just tell me that she's so abused. <laughs> She does this in public, specifically <laughs> at our Chinese restaurant. Hmm. A little asshole. Anyways, just giggle. Question. Go on. Question. Yes, boo. Where's Darius mm -hmm. and when are they gonna come back? It's him. He'll be back soon. You know what he's like. Um he walked off to the woods earlier. He had some of his like um trapping gear, I think is what it was. I didn't really see it too well, but it was like clinking in his bags like i guess it was hunting stuff i don't know he seems like he was thinking so i was i let him alone hmm. probably either setting up snares or setting up um alarms either way it's still something uh, we don't have to set up a physical alarm i have a spell that can do that then it must be traps then yeah. because we are going to need to eat something in the morning i think that mm -hmm. board's only going to last us this night will it um, give or take on how much everyone eats, probably, but anyway, I'll, uh, you guys will settle down, you guys. Also, Brooke, Kenneth, Ifaris, Jared when he gets back. We've had a dog, and I'm pretty sure this is from, this is from the village nearby. It seems like he's got lost, maybe. Oh, oh thank so goodness cute. I thought we were adopting another pet. <laughs> I love animals, but I'm just saying here. Yeah, Ellie just, Ellie just kind of motions around. She just looks to Brooke and just goes, "Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting another dog." What's wrong Thank with you. having another dog? It's there's a lot already. Look, there's a lot of mouse to feed here already. Should should I just spill the beans? Elena so just, to speak. Elena just sighs and just she looks, she looks to Brooke for like confirmation. Brooke. Wait, no, Brooke, hey, backpedal. I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to say another dog. Uh, she meant to say, why can't we have another pet? Yeah. Well, still, too many mouths to feed, and also the fact that, um, some bad... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Brooke kind of looks over to Alina, kind of like, it's an awkward kind of shrug, but like, uh, it's okay to tell her, just like, uh, uh, -huh. uh Bowie, you can go ahead and tell you far as while I stop. Plus dog died. First dog died. <laughs> just, just stressed. First dog died. <laughs> Bowie, what oh, the well, fuck? That happens, I guess. It's it's quick and simple, okay? It, it was more so how it died. Yeah. Well, at least... Brooke at fucked least, up. <laughs> at least we'll remember I, Kovar. So that he can yeah. live on. That's a good... Bowie. What? Can I braid your hair? No. Alina <laughs> just just rolls her eyes and just goes, "You far as you can't go around asking everybody if you can braid their hair." Why not? Because I said so. You're not my mom. No, I'm not. I'm your friend. And. And I'm older than you, therefore superiority. I don't care. Well, that's a you problem. No, it's a you problem. No, it sounds more like a you problem. No. Nope. Respect your elders. Make me. Alina just, Alina just like looks like she's gonna go down and take off her shoe. <laughs> <laughs> While all this is going on, Kenneth's gonna stand up and cast uh... What's the spell called? Silence. No, he doesn't have that one. <laughs> Silence. 
or is it, he's gonna cast disguise self to look like Euphorus and but with like longer hair and then just walks over to her and sits down there. Hey Not Lois, can you make me wisdom safe? A wis oh, I'm gonna make a wisdom safe. Are you gonna fucking hit Kenneth? Twenty one. You pass it. She was trying to cast Charm Person. Oh my god! Oh wait, no! That, actually, that's also great because if, if, uh, I'm, oh. yeah, I'm half elf, so therefore I have advantage against being charmed as well, so therefore I would, I would be able to, like, roll it again. Anyway, I got advantage against that roll, but I, I pass anyway. And she just goes, did you just try to cast a spell on me? No. Y Euphorus. Hey, what's that sound? And she just runs off. Uh, I'm cooking food. I can't chase after you. <laughs> well, they try to they try to use a mind control spell or something like uh, that. Uh, charming. I could tell because Baywalk connection, half elf charms take a little bit more effort to work against us. Hmm. Well. Time for them to die. <laughs> Boo's just gonna draw her blade. <laughs> no killing her, or... I'm just not gonna finish that. No, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can... She's, like, standing a little bit away. Uh, just so far enough away that she has to yell for you to hear her. And she's like, you may have foiled me this time, but I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Alina just is, like, is just holding back a lot. And she's got, like, like just, like, that, like, doe I just, like, oh, I love you kind of look on her face. Just, like, I love the precious... I do. I'd be there all the time. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, bet better get cooking and stuff. Yeah, I've oh. been distracted long enough. I'm gonna get cooking and you four and five when Darius gets back. Just enjoy the evening. So look. You far as number two. How you been? I don't know just shrugs. I don't know. I've just been braiding hair all day. What? <laughs> oh, I He's... get it. <laughs> he looks like Euphoria, so I've just been braiding hair all day. I mean, oh. technically, you haven't been braiding it all day. It just came over here and then... Wait a second, I'm talking to the wrong one. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, there are two of them. <laughs> but again, Kenneth just shrugs. I haven't really been doing much, just trying to figure out different things. Hmm. Well, when, go. well, when Doris gets back, I I think I'm gonna try and tell one of my one of my family stories at least, because it's actually coming to my mind at the moment, and I feel like I need to, you know, tell it before I forget about it again, and. You know. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. We haven't really got a lot of stories around here from us. You would think with how long we've been together, we'd know more family stories. Hmm. Yeah, but let's see. We have Belina. We already know they've been cursed with lycanthropy, so yeah, best not to tell, you know, family stories about them. Because have abusive household, abusive household, dead household. Okay, so we, so we have nice household that we have that that they had to leave. Possible abuse household, possible abuse a household, possible abuse household. This is fun. She's, she's actually going going to point towards um Kenneth book and then somewhere in the forest. No, she. I mean, it wasn't abuse. It was just dysfunctional. That's okay. What they Okay, dysfunctional household, abusive household, and whatever this household is. And she's going to point towards herself. I mean, my household's just unknown. But then again, I'm still trying to figure it out myself, so that just makes it worse. Well, maybe you should keep up to date on that journal, maybe. Unless you've been just been reading that trying. all day. So you guys know, you haven't day. been here all day. You guys are just like, it started getting dark and you guys are camping for tonight. You've not been here all day. 
Yeah. yeah. But We've been here for at most two hours. Two, three hours. It's just a general term thing. Yeah. Ah. I'll just let you know. Yeah. But I've been a snake post today, and, like, he's gonna, like, cast disguise self, or, like, not cast, but uncast. He's gonna turn back into himself to talk. But, yeah, oh, yeah. I've been a snake all day, but I'm always reading this book, and... The blood's still on most of the pages, so I can't fully read everything. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, what the hell do we do when you turn into a snake and can't turn back? Do we put you in a pouch or something? We've got to discuss this now so that we don't, you know, get confused. I'm fine with whatever, as long as I don't end up dead. Uh, Elena raises her voice and goes, I have a theory, an idea, but I'll only, I'll only get to test it if this ever happens again. Yeah? What is it? Oh. Well, I know I'm cooking, but it's fine. Everything's on the fire, so I'll give it some time. It always seems to happen when they're close together, when... randomly when those two are close together. So I'm thinking, next time it happens, I'll jump on Gizmo, take one of them with me, probably Darius, because looks, 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 she looks to Kenneth, you don't like being on horses. See if separating, them, fa see if separating them far enough might actually cause the magic to just stop, because they're not close enough to each other. I mean, that might work when it randomly happens, but I could do this. And he turns himself into a snake? Oh, well, yeah, I'm talking about when it randomly happens, not when you can do it on command. Kind of. Like, he just nods as a snake. Turn back, please. I've already dealt with you for six hours about today as a snake. If a snake could frown, he would, before slowly switching back. It's not that bad. No, it's not. I've just had to deal with two people with snakes all day. Just wait until you become a bird's uh, uh, what what is it? Um, what is that? Um, one sweet treat. It was strawberry flavored with taffy. Like, Chew string. Taffy. Yeah, that that. Wait until you become a bird's taffy or something. But yeah. It's, it's an idea that I have, because I was thinking about this while riding Gizmo earlier today to get the scouting done. But it doesn't happen when you two are close together, it's not. So, separate the two far enough. Maybe the magic might not, you know, like a connection of the magic of, between whatever it is. And she just points at the bracelets. Imagine it's those things. <clears throat> Pretty obvious. Um, on Kenneth's arm. I imagine separate, maybe the link will be broken. From a certain distance away. It's an idea. It's better, better to test it than not to test it. If it ever happens again. Which it probably will. Yeah, that, that's actually a good idea. I didn't think about that. Hmm. She gives a thumbs Wait, up. Uh, <laughs> question. Did Kenneth tell the group about what the fucking snake bracelet said to him? About getting all three or something? No, as long as it was Darius, I think it was. Only those two. No. Just only those two? Okay. Still. Everything's cooking now, at least the food-wise. Shouldn't take too long, give or take. It's red meat, so it doesn't have to be fully cooked, so... You know. But still. Or myself, do you want to go to see if I find Darius? Unless he's, unless he's going to come back any second now, but. You know, I'd rather be, you know, make sure that they're all actually here and able to eat. Hmm. Well, I could just yell into the forest and call him here. And maybe attract a predator? Hey, more food for us. I. We, we, we don't want to know what we could break out <laughs> of those woods. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So should I go searching for him or just wait? If you want to go searching, go search, go for it. I'll stay here and make sure that the that, that these two, as she points to Kenneth and Brooke, don't blow up anything. I mean, I've technically never blown up anything, Brooke. Nothing, nothing before like this that you've seen. She just like, and there's my point. Hmm. You were 
one time. Also, book is is Penelope well fed or? Is Penelope well fed? She just kind of collapsed I am, I am, and like me sleepy. Oh, Peaches is AFK, but I, ima oh, I imagine I imagine that just as uh, anyway, because we're we're not gonna abandon our pets. <laughs> Yeah, we're not. And, plus, I mean, I did mention how I pamper her constantly. <laughs> plus, she does hunt herself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, just a bit. Of con I'm just a bit concerned because we have a new dog here. Um, uh, Alina's already like brought like tip like tails like strips of meat and just like just give him something. But it's raw. Just like you know, like a bit like off like the back first like back bacon or something like that. Oh, yeah, you guys don't have back bacon oh. over there. Um, but yeah, still like. Just like tore off like some like like just like while it's still raw, just like oh let's just cut up with that and here's it for the doggo. So that way the doggo has eaten something and not gonna you know go ooh rations. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Those anyway. those are some tasty orphans. Orphans. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the orphans! What man would do that? Okay, points. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bowie is gonna go search for Darius. The rest of us are just vibing. Yep. So I guess while everybody is just vibing, kind of just gonna actually look up at Alina. Also about the bracelets. I don't I, I probably should wait for Darius to come so he could also confirm this. When we were in the snake form earlier, it was mentioning about a third one. I believe we said this before, but just thought to remind everybody, watch out for another one of these. You gotta just think getting Desperate. So there's at least a third one. She just like kind of just like thinks about it. All right, so there's a third one. She just she just literally like hang on. Right, just makes her notes of it in her journal, and you know, and it's just like okay, let me just write that down. Very important. It like it's it's like first equivalent of like all caps, like all just uppercase letters. Just third snake bracelet. Watch out. Um. All right. So if I had a third one, I mean. Question is though, if we find a third one, should we? So should one of us put it on? Unless if it's you know, a situation where we you know it's just random chance. I mean, we're all aware of it, so yeah, I yeah. I doubt any of us would willingly put it on. It would have to be almost forced upon us, if that makes sense. But at the same time, I mean, I I don't know if it would work since me and Darius already have one on. But if you ever see a bracelet, just don't even slightly brush against it, or otherwise you're gonna get it like I did. Yeah. The other thing hmm. I'm thinking of is the fact that if one of us puts it on, because if final three, it might stop. It, you know, do whatever it wants. As much as I hate, you know, I want to want to talk. It might find a way to remove them. But I, I doubt. Right. I doubt. It might balance it out, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, I doubt Kenneth or Darius want to keep them on. Kenneth just stays quiet, not really giving an answer, because he actually doesn't mind it. She literally just blinks, being the insightful, or she just. I imagine Darius at least doesn't want to keep it on. How did Darius even get it again? Oh, you know. What Kenneth just said about it being pretty lightly, like even just brushing against it. Yeah. I imagine it's something along like those lines. And it randomly ended up in my bag once Zahor decided to do, well, this thing, so. I think it just comes to us. <sighs> Gods. And it just shrugs and just goes, accidents happen. I'm. She just gestures herself as well while she says that. She goes, she kind of points out and then points inwards to herself. You see uh, Euphorus pop up from behind uh, Penelope. Oh, you too? And she pops back down. <laughs> <laughs> First time? And she goes, no, uh, it, I wasn't an accident, but then she gestures to her arm. This was... And now I'm stuck with you for now five. You're not stuck with me. You chose me. You're stuck with them. You know what? Of everyone here, I, I, I guess, I, you know what? You're making a fair point, and I'm glad I'm like, stuck yeah, with you. Yeah, she, she does. Like, we were all just kind of like, we were all kind of just forced together, like, okay, 
group now. You us we accepted. Yeah, bring up the a fifth I one. am an angel. Oh, Keep really? telling yourself that. <laughs> <laughs> Says the one who thought of the three brook plan. Listen. Listen. No. You went along with it. You went along with it. All you this is came happening. up with it. All this is happening. Kenneth is just like, he's holding up a finger to try and speak, but everybody keeps going back and forth and he can't get a word in. <laughs> and technically speaking, you you start, started it because you turned into me, so I am just saying here. Okay. Brooke's like clearly like, he's in gonna a throw an way. She's, she's going like... to throw an acorn at you. <laughs> <laughs> she just reaches down. She's like, she's hiding behind Penelope. So like, she's sitting on the other side of Penelope, and you see her peek up. Because she's like the entire time you guys have been talking, she you've heard her, but you haven't seen her because she's sitting down. But you see her head like slightly peek up over, and then she just yeets an acorn at your face and it bounces like, off the forehead. Like, <laughs> the I... sentence, she just yeets an acorn at your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just hear me, you go ah. Ellen <laughs> <laughs> just like, putting a hand over my mouth, trying so hard to hold in the laughter. You just hear the yeah, bonk, <laughs> bonk. <laughs> Oh, it was just like, oh my god, so I'm surrounded by idiots. Well, surrounded by idiots and Darius, but he's not here. Therefore, you're surrounded by idiots. Speaking of, exactly. pause. What is Darius doing? Is he still watching the trap? He died. He's gonna keep watching it until something walks into it. Or until he gets bored for like 15 minutes. He's been up for a while. Uh, go ahead and roll perception. Actually, no, 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 don't roll perception. What do you have in the trap? Good question. I need an answer. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm going to put some playing cards down. Maybe I'll catch a D and D player because they're all natural born gamblers. What? The well, thing is, I don't know because I don't know how to trap animals. I don't know what they go for, so I don't know if I could u- even use any of my equipment to make them some like some bait. I I'll say you're able rations. to use like I some levels of rations. Yeah. I figure I'd use that, but I don't know if like forest animals go for that. I would say that you also have like some leftover food that you far sort of gave in the party before you all left. I so said worms. I have a worms. Fishing tackle. Worms. All right. Um, I'll say that you're pretty well hidden. Um, as this is your favorite terrain, so you are pretty well hidden. You know how to hide from most animals in this area. Um. You do see a small group of boar, um, just like walking around. Um, the vast majority of them don't come very close to where you have your trap hidden. Um, but you can tell that one of them is obviously not paying attention, and it very quickly gets itself stuck inside of your trap. I'm gonna sit in there like a trapper player in Dead by Daylight, and like walking the trap, step in the trap, bitch. Fuck yes. Yeah. yeah, it's not a very large that. one. It's it's an adolescent, and the moment it gets stuck in the trap, it starts squealing loudly, causing the others to run. Well, I'm gonna rush in and I'm going to dispatch it. You are easily able to do so. It's not very old at all. It's like it's got some good amount of meat on it, but it's still small enough where the tusks that it does have wouldn't cause you much damage if it got you with them. Also, uh, everyone else in the campsite would hear the squealing of the boar. You also would have heard the 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 bear trap clamp shut. I'm gonna collect my bear trap. Hoist the board and walk back to King. I will say you return to camp as you see Euphorus throwing acorns at Brooke. Uh, 
Alina's cooking. Bowie's not there. Kenneth is doing something in his book. Everyone is muted. Sorry, I, I gotta unmute on two devices. I gotta unmute on OBS and Discord, which I gotta unmute. So it takes me a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just been, I'm doing a hecking cook and seeing that, you know, I'm while you fart is too busy bonking Brooke with acorns and Kenneth is too busy being a bookworm. I'ma just peek my head up and just go, oh hey, welcome back. Hello. I'm gonna plunk my board down near the fire, figuring you can eat it tomorrow. Huh. Bore today and bore tomorrow. That's what me and Bowie also found. All heard of them. Oh, she did, she did just go oh, looking really? for you. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. <laughs> I forgot I muted myself. You fought, uh, you, you, when you say that, uh, JT, you, you starts giggling. Oh, hush you as well, you child. Darius, she's been so mean to me. I have not. She is lying. She has been so mean to me. Hey, you. Hush. Me? She's so mean. <laughs> me? Me? She's never. so mean to me. I'm gonna hand you far with my crowbar and lean on my axe. Solve your problems like a problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Darius, you don't 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 encourage her. Don't encourage her, please. You have the better weapon. Why are you complaining? I know. <laughs> it's <laughs> You far as you are very small. You just see her turn into another version of you, and she just goes, You far as you are very small. And she's talking oh. to her hand as oh. she's moving it. Oh, ha ha. Can... Oh, look, you're actually my height now. Look at that. How does it feel to be tall? He's mimicking you the entire time. <laughs> as if one just of... here, fuck you, <laughs> across the campsite. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. What should it? Ezekiel. Fuck you, Ezekiel. <laughs> exactly. What should it? Tony. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> uh, she turns back into herself and she's just giggling. You know, you know, uh, you're lucky I'm cooking, you Faris, otherwise... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll do something. She just goes, mm -hmm. she wants to you Faris, and then just goes, like this, and just boops her on the nose. How dare you. I, I, I dare. What are you gonna do about it, huh? I, I'm offended. Uh, uh, oh, good. Be offended. Keep being offended. She's gonna reach into her pocket where she's got, like, just a bunch of acorns <laughs> and just toss them at you and then bolt. <laughs> you! <sighs> she just looks at her. See what I have to put up with? <laughs> See what I've got to deal with? Of all the people, I'm the one to deal with this. I think of you disposition. I have no idea what that means out of character. JT, what did you say? That would be because of your disposition. Ah. Look, it... I mean, at least it's her of all people and not someone else, and she just, like... It could be, it could be Brooks, so I guess I should count my blessings. So, at least it's all. Yvara, where would you go? She's just hiding for, uh, badly behind a tree. Yvara, Yvara, that is the worst way I've seen someone hide in a very long time. Your leg's sticking out. I can see your elbow, your hair. Your, half your face is sticking out. You're not even really hiding at this point. You're just kind of like... She reaches a hand out towards you and she starts moving it like a puppet and she's just like, you hide very horribly. Blah, 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 blah. I... 
<sighs> she's just she's she's just eventually she gets tired of just being there she's laughing and she, she sits down uh near the fire again and starts going through her book she just shakes her head and just goes children am i right i say this but children I'm just gonna give her some space for a little bit before walking over. You, Faris, how book smart are you? I mean, I'm trained to be a wizard, so I guess I'm okay. Have you ever seen this type of handwriting in any books? And it's the whole, um, all the way back when Kenneth got his bracelet, there was a note in there that says, You'll need this with a smiley face. Wait, what? All the way back when Kenneth first got the snake bracelet, there was a note that was next to it that he only read after the fact that says, You'll need this with a smiley face. He's asking if she knows, like, the handwriting or has ever seen the handwriting in any of the books. Um... No, I've not seen it before, but also that's a different thing than being books. There's people who are trained to look at handwriting. That's not what I do. It was but no, shot. I don't know. Okay, thank you. He's going to put that back in his journal. It was worth a mm -hmm. shot. And with that, he's going to turn on... Uh, he's going to attempt to turn on his heel, but when you have claws, it's not that easy. And he's going to walk back over to the little spot he was sitting at. Okay. Darius. JT, what's Darius doing? I'm not entirely sure. I've only done one thing, and that's not the most session, so I'm a little bit at a loss. Mood. Would he just be sitting around the fire with the rest? You clearly need to read up on the new revision of the Edge Lord Handbook. What's Are you sitting on the edge of the fire where you can barely see your face and it's like, like there's a shadow cast over it? Oh, he's yeah, no, he's sitting I'm in the I'm fire. Sitting, I'm sitting Dark Souls pose. I'm sitting by the fire. I was double jiggering you guys. <laughs> he's sitting at the Dark Souls pose. That's very important to remember. One knee up, other foot tucked under the knee. Yeah, I know. I definitely. I know. Uh, you far also, as what revision do you have? I'm using I'm at the V5 released in 2014. I think I got V 4.7. I think. That got released. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, you far as is gonna like, she's like slowly like scooting over to you, like she'll start scooting towards you and then stop. Look at you out of the corner of her eye. A little bit more, stop, scoot, and then stop. And she just keeps doing that until she gets close close enough to you. It's like she's like an arm's length away from you. Hey, Darius. Just a moment. I love that episode. I am on fire! As you approach. Anyway, right, I'm tapped for humor for tonight. I'll see you guys later. Oh, wait, Hannah. I have to watch the video, I assume. Oh, it's time stay. Here, hang on. Oh, 
lord. <laughs> okay. She's gonna look at you. Hey, Darius. Continue. Oh, God. Continue. She's gonna... She takes a deep breath and then just goes really quickly. Can I braid your hair? No. Dang it. Why? Because I don't want that. Okay. Can I brush it? No. You're gonna get up and then go to her so she's like standing in front of you and then flop down so she's sitting in front of you. Put her elbows on her knees and rest her hand, her head on her fist, and she just looks up at you. Is she flop squatting? What? Is she, you said her elbows on her knees. Is she flop squatting? What do you mean? You ever seen the flop squat? Heel on ground, comrade found, heel in the sky, western spy? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god. It's on a culture. Missouri. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know all those words individually. <laughs> She, like she has her feet on the ground and her, so her knees are up actually yeah can i guess you have a picture yeah that's basically what she's doing well actually no she's what she's doing she's sitting like crisscross on the ground and she has her elbows on her knees and she has her head resting on her fists Okay, I gotcha. And she's just looking up at you. Do you need something? I'm bored, and I know you don't want me to bother you, but the That's rest very of true. But the rest are doing stuff, and I like hanging out with you. Do what you want. You're not touching my hair. I don't. I don't have to touch your hair. Hair? What hair? I don't see any hair. I'm not saying you're it bald. Is I'm very just dark. I do have a hat. She's going to snort a little bit. I'm going to safeguard my hair a little bit more. I'm going to unbutton my hat. So the brim just covers it all up. I, I'm i not going to mess with your hair. You told me no, so I won't mess with it. I know when to stop. I've been betrayed before. I... The whole her pinky. I will pinky promise with her. Cool. I will not touch your hair unless you give me permission. Sounds fine to me. You know, I know you're an adult and you're supposed to, and you think you're supposed to be boring, but I think you're cool because you, you can like hunt and stuff and I can't do that. Well, you can cast spells and I can't do that. They're not very good spells. Hunting's pretty easy. Maybe. I set a bear trap and wait until a dumbass boar walked into it. Yeah. Um. Jessica, the sub islands are back. Anyway. Um. Oh no. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, those ones are they they uh Lena and Bowie showed me the pelt. It kind of looks like it came from the nearby village. They lose some of their pigs sometimes and they mingle with like the wild boars and they make like a, a smaller version of the wild boars. It's probably one of those. They're not very smart. They run away when one of them is injured, so could be stupider. Yeah. While they're talking, I'm just gonna just trot up and just kind of hand over some food because it's, it's it's red meat. It does take forever to cook. Red meat's pretty quick to cook. I thought that I know this. I've cooked bull. Um. Here you go, guys. Try to disturb your conversation. Thank you. That's all right. How dare you? Important conversation. They just rolls like, "Do you want food or not, you virus?" Please. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just... I'm not gonna lie, that is literally me and Peach in the dorm. Peach will make dinner, I'll piss her off. Do you want food? Yes. Yeah, literally that. <laughs> literally. I'm gonna hand it over and just go, there you go. You two enjoy. Yeah. And I'm gonna just go around and just hand everyone else go, Brooke, here's your food before you, I don't know, do something stupid and set on fire. I mean, I could do it now if you no. want. <laughs> and we're of a uh, Kenneth. I know you don't eat, but do you want to eat something still? Yeah, I guess a little social eating would be nice. There you go. It doesn't need to be much. He takes it. Thank you. And where is Bowie? Sitting in one of the trees like jaguars do. The fitness grand page <laughs> <laughs> stage aerobic capacity. <laughs> you and your stupid fucking Mike Burb. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I just had fucking panic attack from school. Um. Anyway, uh, I'm a just. I guess Miss Bowie here. Well, after hearing a boar, you know, it get killed quickly, and then more commotion in camp, I'm assuming she's back. Hey, but do, do you want to do you want to hand it to you, or do you want to, do you want to chuck it towards you? Because I don't know what you like. Hmm. It's session one all over again. <laughs> Except it's not a pancake. Yeah, it's uh, now a slab of meat. How how hot is the meat, and what is it covered in or seasoned with? I imagine it's seasoned with whatever the hell I can find. I mean, Alina would know better than I would. I don't know shit. I said this as I cook, but I have it. But it's still probably whatever I can get my hands on. But it's like look, 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 look like she's gonna chuck it. But then she just walks over and just hands it nicely. Like I'm not gonna actually chuck it. You know, fun. I know, I know. <laughs> but wait, you've been stuck with me for how long? Eight, nine months. You should know this by now. Yeah. And you're still no fun. <laughs> Gee, I, I, wonder, I, I wonder why. But yeah, Boo's just gonna take the meats. And I'm gonna take her slice, which is smaller, because haha, <laughs> drama. And just sit herself down and just next to the fire as well. Hmm. Yeah. Would Boo actually notice a smaller portion? It's obvious it's not it's not like you know it's like let's say let's say i'm trying to think of like, like a cut of steak like steak because i imagine that's what she's done is like kind of like cuts the steak but a bit bigger because you know we're a big group <laughs> this is like half the size hey alina what your plate yes smack some old meat on there i'm fine buoy you sure yes Absolutely sure. Yes. 
we're just well just to make extra sure stop a stop a bit more of meat on there <laughs> I'm fine and I said to make extra sure slap some more stuff on there just rolls her eyes and just this is not just ignoring me, but more just like I'm not gonna bother arguing kind of thing and just Kenneth just gives her the like the other half of his portion. Go. Kenneth, take it. Trust me, I don't need it. I know you don't, but still, I don't need to this much. I'm fine. Don't. I'm still gonna hand it to you anyway, so you could figure out what to do with the leftovers, because I don't want to waste it. I'm gonna just give it to the dog that we've got. Oh yeah, Darius, we we found the dog from a nearby sugar from the nearby village. We're not keeping. We're, no, we're not. I'm gonna we're going to the nearby village and seeing if anyone there owns it because it's obviously owned by someone. Good. Yeah, just blinks and kind of like just like hmm. Yeah, it's definitely owned by someone, but we found it out and um, me and Boo were hunting, so take it back to the village and yeah. see if anyone actually you know owns it. You have to talk. Sorry. Go on. No, you. No, you. No. Fine. I imagine whoever owned it probably from the village and maybe the dog got spooked or got lost. So we'll take it back and see if anyone there owns it. The dog does look somewhat familiar to me. I'm not so sure. It does look like part hyena, though, so... Is that? Never heard of a hyena before. What? Never heard of a hyena. Never heard of it? No. You've seen hyenas? No, I, Alina hasn't. She lived, she lived in the forest all her life. No, you saw them at that temple. Oh, yeah, but she didn't know those were hyenas. Oh, okay. She didn't know what they're, that's what they're called. She just saw them as big mutated dogs. She didn't see them as hyenas. You know those, you know those dogs back in the temple thing. Yeah. Those. Except the uh, hyenas are mainly scavengers, and they laugh hideously, and they don't spew out smoke. I see. They're mainly savanna creatures. Ah, that explains uh, that. That that explains why I've never heard of them. Yeah, I never lived anywhere near any kind of hot environment. So, look at you, the vermin of pestilence. I see. No, the most we had to deal with was forest scavengers, so that was raccoons, badgers, the odd starving wolf. Um, a lot, a lot of ravens, a lot of ravens and crows. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if um whatever your town name was was called Raventown or something like that. No, it was called R Riverglade actually. Oh. Interesting. No normally some people, primarily humans, are just unoriginal with names. I can't remember the exact reason it was called Riverglade, but I believe it was because if you followed the stream upwards there was in the forest a pretty like Glade that was once owned, or maybe not owned, maybe it's the right word, but looked out of by a druid that was long since abandoned, but I never actually went there myself. It's a legend of the place, but legends come from somewhere, so maybe there's some truth in there. Interesting. So, do y'all just want to, you know, Eat and then sleep, or do you mind if I tell a story? Oh, go for it, Bowie. I don't mind. By all means, do it. Brooke, Kenneth, you're fast. 
Again, I'm down to nods. learn. I'm up for anything. He forest nods sleepily. Hmm. Well, it may not be the best story as I'm currently trying to remember most of most of it, but yeah. This is one that my grandfather told himself and he doesn't really speak all that often, so yeah, it was one that we all had to remember, not just me, just the entire family. And without him, the tribe's reputation for being the finest warriors of our land would have been tainted. So uh, sorry. It's it's been a while and I'm still trying to remember. But from what I know, it started with a job. My tribe was guarding another tribe tribe during their migration past the two mountain points, guarding the chieftain's daughter to bond the tribes of the plains with the tribes of the mountains. Because I'm not so sure what happened, but yeah. I, I remember what he said when telling us this part. The valley between the mountains was dark and foggy. Though, though, midday, though it was midday, the sun was blocked and only a few rays of strength sunlight shined through then it started to thunder rain thunder and rain uh, the thunder of both stream snapping forth and the rain of wood and iron snapping against the rocks beneath their feet brigands who had exiled from the mountain tribes tried to take revenge by preventing the alliance with the death of the plains chieftain's daughter though they were not expecting the warriors of the Nobel tribe to be the ones escorting her. Fellow Vas, or, sorry, uh, native language, clerics, is what you will call them, tossed the torches into the air to create a new sun to light up the valley, revealing the archers, archers, eh, sorry, who hid, who hid behind cover of the fog while warriors, while the warriors started shooting back to allow the daughter to hide in the confusion. The entire group was pinned down, arrows, arrows like rain, raining down upon them, pinning them down. And Arshavol, the name of the mountain path, got its name for a reason. In common, you would call it Archer's Peak because it has two cliff sides with flat ends nearing the top. An easy way for um, ambushes to happen, basically. So, my, gran my grandfather took shelter after seeing the arrows fly by, but he, took, he soon took his own bow and started, started aiming, shoot, shooting one arrow after another, causing bodies to, fly, to fall down over the valley floor, causing the enemies to shelter, seeing that, that they have archers on their side, on, uh, archers against them now. And one, once they stopped firing, my grandfather took the chance and started climbing up the, climbing up the mountainsides to face him head on. And one, one by one, he took, he took them out, climbing, climbing up the, was it right? Le side doesn't matter, but he went up once, he went up one side and started, um, basically killing the archers one by one. He took, he took his bow, bow, um, Slung, slung across someone's neck and then started twisting them one by one. And then one, he took out an entire um, ledge just all by himself until, until he felt a sharp pain in his shoulder because he was shot from the other side. Uh, I'm trying to remember the rest. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, he was shot in the, he was shot in the shoulder and then the leg, and then a shot to the head, which took out his left eye, causing him to collapse down from that final shot. But he was not dead yet, far from it. And using the last of his strength, with the, with the archers from the other side thinking that he was dead, focusing on the group below, below them, my father, my grandfather, sorry, slowly stood up and started started letting out a roar that can be heard from the plains even. 
he stopped he started picking up arrows that the other brigands were using and started firing against the archers on the other side while while yelling. The, the sight of an enraged man that's still fighting shot three times in vital areas, shocked them all as if a demon possessed his body of sorts. One, one of them fell, fell down being shot in the throat. The other one got their caps pierced and one thing that made him most feared was when he removed the arrow that took out his eye and then shot it back at the one who took his eye from him. And they started they started running. They thought that there was a demon possessed possessing him and they immediately fled. But once they once they fled, my grandfather collapsed on the ground almost barely alive. If it wasn't for the other clerics who were with him, he would have been dead. But thankfully, he returned as a legend, the wrong demon of Archibald, Fordo Nobel, as he was called. But that would be his last battle, because he couldn't run or move his left side as good anymore. And so he retired from being a warrior and started a family as a bow hunter instead, passing on whatever knowledge he could with what little words he spoke. <laughs> and that was the famed Battle of Archival. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, it's it's coming fresh in my mind, and I'm not good at storytelling. It's no need to apologize, Billy. That's most fascinating. Thank you for telling us. It was. I apologize. I have much more interesting things to say. It's just really a lot to take in. Yeah. Well, uh, it's really hard to describe scenes that just pop up in your head for, yeah, just a second, but I. I'm trying my best, and I hope my grand my grandfather doesn't smack me in my sleep if I told this story wrong. Thank you, Bowie. I genuinely enjoyed listening to that. Yeah, I just hope they did as well. And Bowie's just gonna look up towards the sky and just. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna. Hit the sack. That was kind of exhausting. Get to sleep, Bowie. Thank you. I hope you can. I ask one it. thing before you leave. Uh, sure. Did he actually kill the person with the arrow with his eye? Yeah, he did. Straight in the head. This is both. To him. This is both amazing, but that must have been so painful. Kenneth has the look of like horror, but interest. It's the he had like just it's all in horror and just everything just on his face as he's like picturing it. Well, I think I think you'll be more fearful of my mother instead of him because, yeah. <laughs> I love and I'm terrified of your family. Hmm. Well, well, whether you like it or not, you're just gonna have to deal with me instead. I mean, you're both terrifying and amazing, so it works. I've seen you kill before, and I've seen you attack Brooke before. Oh, yes. I'll let you go to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of which, book, don't wake me up. That's it. Good night, guys. Good night, Bowie. Uh, the Farah just kind of like mumbles. It was a good story, but uh, she just kind of mumbles that it was a good story. But she is pretty much just like falling asleep, and she's falling asleep while leaning against Darius. Everyone died. Yep.
And Liz is just kind of just, uh, you know, she's not super sleepy yet because energized child, night child. Um, she's gonna like just clean up after, you know, dinner as well, make sure that everything's all so that way you know, we're not like, oh shit, morning, oh fuck, we left things on the plate, oh fuck, oh god. Nothing's worse than cleaning something off that's dried overnight. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna just clean that while everyone else does whatever they need to and just clean up and make sure things set up and we'll get ready to go sleep outside. Brock. Yeah? What are you doing? Boy, well, see, unlike the child here, Brock is tired. <laughs> go the fuck to bed. I go to bed. <laughs> and I snore. Oh no. Very loud. Brooke wakes up to a mouthful of feathers. <laughs> 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 no, she wakes up and she's in the afterlife. <laughs> they had enough for bullshit. <laughs> it was booey. <laughs> She wakes up, sees the whore, the whore is just like, I'm not dealing with you. Brings her back to life. You deal with her. <laughs> no. Lord. No. Book just wakes up and this is all she hears. The fitness queen. <laughs> <is here. laughs> the milky- <laughs> Talking about sleep paralysis. <laughs> okay. Who needs yeah, a sleep okay. paralysis demon when you have Bowie? Uh, Darius. How, JT, how does Darius react to the fact that the the goat child has fallen asleep against him? He's going to stay still until he figures out a spot to dump her. Wow. Quick, man, we're all tired. And he's going to sleep in his own tent. I'm gonna just glance over and just kind of see this and just go, Do you want me to carry her into the her tent and so you can go to bed? Which one is her tent? What was my tent? Uh, my and Kenneth's tent. That one. I'll just point to whatever tent it is. There's two over there. It's the one on the left or the right. Uh, I imagine it's the one I'm closest to on the map. Top one. The I don't know. The map is not completely oh. accurate. You can you can pretend there's three. Yeah. I'm just saying that to be immersive doesn't pretty much matter. But you want? I'll, I'll just take it to it. Get a bed. I'll I'll pick her up and take her to one way to find that. Well, that that works too. I'm gonna just grab my bedroll and a blanket and just put the bedroll down near the fire and then just kind of just put the blanket down on the floor and just go. I sleep here. You have a good night, Lena. Thank you for cooking. You did a wonderful job. Uh, oh, thank you. My mother taught me so. Thanks. Glad I actually still remember the skills. At least she did give you useful skills. He kind of raises an eyebrow at that, but doesn't question it and just... But, um... You have a good night as well, Darius, and I'll see you in the morning. If nothing happens in the night, that is. I just put my head down? I'm going to pitch and enter my tent. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the session here. Woo. Everyone is dead again. Case, All right. Child is function. Oh, God. oh my gosh, we almost let the entire time without saying it. Good no, job. no, we didn't. No, I know. We got it in the beginning. Oh, I was, oh, yeah. I was, see, I was yeah. being myself and not paying attention. I figured, see, I figured we flipped two EDs in there. I did a Pretty really nice segue to it earlier. 
and it was all Lois's fault. Uh. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, that will be the end of the session because it's eleven o'clock. I have work in the morning. Yep, yeah, I have work too today. I have to. I have to... don't. <laughs> I I don't. Thank God. Oh, if only that was the case for me as well. If only I didn't have work. But I'm on a three-week work shift, shift right now, so I'm working for three weeks straight. My next day off isn't until, I think, the 21st of September. September? Oh, so no, so, so November, sorry. What the hell? <laughs> that's more than three weeks. That's, that, that's only a year. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll probably be up for like Also, Go on. was that May I heard purring? Oh, May. Oh! I love her. I haven't heard May in a bit. Oh, baby girl. Her box. Oh. Well, just me and Peach is here. Oh, gushing. I'm half asleep looking at Animal Crossing. I'm just trying to stay awake. Yeah, it's fine. We're ending in a second for that. Let me go find someone to do a hacking raid. I'm pretty going to... They, they've changed all Twitch's loadouts, so I don't remember which button's which. Because it's now a little bit different. There we go. Let's go give the tea. Oh, wait, sorry, I thought the stream was over. I'll say after. Exactly. Lois can pay. Uh, I'm just getting the raid done, don't worry. Lois, my beloved husbando. Yes, oh, hello. Cold. You right, you cold. Mwah. Mwah. But anyway, thanks. Gay. Thanks for everyone for coming. Though. You're this gay. Is, thanks for everyone for coming to the stream. No, straight. I know we usually don't stream on a, a Friday, but this is because people are busy tomorrow. I'm, I'm on a 12-hour shift. JT's in work. Peach is also probably going to be tired from work. I have two birthday parties to go to tomorrow. That as well. So we did it today instead. I have an assassination to attend tomorrow. You know what? Have is fun. it yours or is are you it, doing is it, assassinating? Is it my assassination? I'm not sure. It's not going to be involved. I can't remember what side I suppose. Got it. <laughs> Figure we'll see, you know? Yeah. Also, yeah. Stream, thank you for coming. We're uh, doing a new points reward in Lois' channel. Since Donate enough points, and I will attack one person of your choice with my hands. Donate more choice, or more points, it'll be uh, with the weapon of your choice. Uh, I didn't agree to you this. You have to pay for the plane tickets. Anyway. And subscribers get half off. Anyway. Uh, I will see you guys later. <laughs>